reality is these people are already in our country and it's just a matter of time when we're going to see the next 9-11. You're extremely naive if you if you don't believe that those threats are already here. Over the, especially with this you know, administration in the past few years of the open borders, these people are already in our country. So let's switch gears a little bit. I want to talk about what happened in Israel and I want to talk about how people should be prepared in case something like that happens here. People always have this thought of that won't happen to me because I'm here. Right. But it's crazy because mass shootings that happen in public, they happen, right? Uh, you know, what happened in Israel is something that I don't think anybody thought would have happened. It happened. And I feel like a lot of people that were on the other side of that felt safe and secure where they were, and it happened. So what are your thoughts on that? And what are your thoughts on people that are coming through the border and not knowing um, just some of the some of the stuff around that? Um, unfortunately, it's just a matter of time. Um, so I don't think people are going to be coming over on like little parachutes <laughs> <laughs> and have a whole like red dawn scenario. I don't see that happening here, mm -hmm. but, um, you're extremely naive if you, if you don't believe that those threats are already here. Right. Um, you know, with over the, especially with, you know, administration in the past few years of the open borders, these people are already in our country. Right. And in my opinion, again, just my opinion that it's just a matter of time. Yep. You know, how big of a scale? I don't know. Again, that's why I would never going to be in a major city. I would never live in a major city. Um, but, um, yeah, the whole it's not going to happen to us mentality has to has to go. Because right. it, the, the reality is these people are already in our, they're already in our country. And, it, again, it's just a matter of time when we're going to see the next 9-11. And I don't think when you say these people, you know, I know that there's already people that are going to watch this that are going to go, oh, he's racist. He's this. I and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I don't think you're talking about the hardworking people coming from El Salvador, Mexico, no, Venezuela. Right. Yeah. I mean, obviously not every person coming through the border yeah. is a terrorist. Right. I mean, that's that's fact and plain yeah. and simple. Right. Yeah, yeah. People are still looking for that American dream that may or may not exist anymore. Right. So, um, but the, the reality is. You know, when you have loads and loads of nothing but military aged males coming through yeah. at a you know, in large groups, the oh. realistic answer is, you know, they're not immigrants coming to, you know, work the farms. Right. Yeah. I mean, and if you look, it seems like we're being infiltrated not just by people, but by ideology, by drugs, fentanyl coming from China through Mexico and through Canada. Um, does it seem like and palsy? Yeah, don't. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I mean, like things into looking at how military and police departments are run, right? Like it, it's like every bit of our society from one to another is being eroded from the inside out, right? And so, is that kind of how you see it, or is that not where you? Yeah, so we're. I mean, we're at a point right now where you know, good men created easy times and we are transferring from that easy times that are creating weak men mm -hmm. and you know being in america and especially you know the the time we have been in here you know there's a lot of privileges we get you know we won the lottery being born in this country yeah and that has been at risk for a while you know when you when you do think about policy administrations that have weakened our country that we you can see now you know we're so weak as a nation you know other late other yeah. nations laugh at us right and um again it, you got to be really naive to think that you're that we're not going to be caught up in a situation anytime soon because right. you look at the people now where everything is you know look at all the people sympathizing with hamas and yeah. these terrorists that were literally going through villages decapitating babies, killing women, children, taking right. hostages. There's people out here that are sympathizing with them, protesting for them yeah. when they have no idea the type of people that, you know, these terrorists yeah. are. Like if you, <laughs> if you right. were to come across them, they wouldn't spare your life for anything, yeah. you know? And it's, uh, it's very surprising to see. And the whole, the whole Palestine Israel thing, I mean, that's a whole conversation so yeah. that we can go back biblically and why everything is so backwards right now uh -huh. but from what that stemmed from is you know in palestine the palestinians are the, are the real occupiers right and um you know i, I know our administration is just pushing can't for the wait whole, to see the comments on this yeah this is gonna be great. The, you know the administration is pushing for the whole two-state solution and that's mm -hmm. that will never be a solution because Got when it. you have one side 
that wants to wipe the other side off the map yeah you know, they don't want to live in harmony right so it's it's not a solution and it yeah. never, never will be but um yeah either way you know not trying to offend anybody but you know if you're offended nobody cares <laughs> and there's just so many people that aren't going to be prepared and when something happens you know they're going to be blaming everybody else around them and it's just we're in that time where nobody's taking responsibility you know, for, for their actions no one's taking responsibility for being prepared for the worst that's to come because it is right. gonna come you yeah know, you can mark my words there it's, it's just a matter of time when it does how do you think it would pop off like what do you think do you think it's wide-scale terror attacks at the same time you know, I mean, we, we've got to have, I mean, they've busted sleeper cells all through this country yeah. multiple times. Um, you know, obviously, I, I don't know, yeah. but I wouldn't put it past them. You know, I, I would definitely be ready for a multi-attack situation you yeah. know, across the the entire country because they right. are they're across the entire country. Yeah. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like that. And, you know, they're going to have the most impact when you have multiple things happening at once and then you create more chaos and then it's it's harder to control. So, right. Um, I think that's a definite, definite, like big possibility that that will happen. Right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And all I know is I need to be able to take care of my family. Yep. Um, our home, if we're able to stay in our home, you know, have a group, a group of people that you can trust and rely on, um, have food, water stored, Yep. Because uh, even at the, the very least, you know, if we get into a point where something as small as another pandemic happens, yeah, people are going to go nuts. Yeah.